Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you so much for tuning in, guys. You guys have been asking me about my builder base, and here it is. I'm still a builder all five because I just can't rush, okay? I just can't do it. I've got my level two battle machine. I've been working on... Hey, get back there, son. Get back there, I say. There we go. Uh, but we've also got our star laboratory. I've done a lot of things, maxed up my barbarians, my archers, and my baby dragons, hoping to get those giants, those minions, and everything else maxed as soon as possible. But guys, I've got three attacks, and... I've been having some great luck with baby dragons today up here at about 2300 trophies So let's go ahead and attack. I'll hit my clock tower after this and hopefully okay. Yeah, we get a builder hall six perfect Okay, well, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. We have ourselves some exterior air targeting defenses This is good. So here's how we're gonna do this guys We're gonna use our baby dragons and we're gonna wreck this base and here's how we do it I generally use my battle machine to distract archer towers. So I'm gonna drop my battle machine This is only like a level one um, air bomb machine or whatever this thing is called. We got to get rid of all these is here. So what I'll do is I'll drop my battle machine to start tanking for both those arch towers and then immediately put down two or three baby dragons to start funneling. That way we can get troops in on the, um, the air bombs and the arch towers and whatnot. There's also some firecrackers over here. And obviously the roaster is not a pushover either. So it's going to be an all-encompassing attack here. Let's go ahead and put this baby or this baby battle machine down right here. And then we've got baby dragons on either side. And what we want is we need to watch and take out all of these air targeting defenses as soon as possible. So this one is going to go for this arch tower right now. And he doesn't care or she doesn't care because there's a battle machine. So that's perfectly fine. The other one's getting the arch towers. So that's two arch towers down. And now they've locked on to the air bombs. And uh, it looks like this is going to go very, very well, guys. Everything is going perfectly according to plan here. Now, let's start working on these buildings over here to take out the other firecracker. And then all that's left is just the archer tower and the... Um, and the roaster so that's that's really good because uh, you know if you can take out all the air targeting defenses Then all of a sudden you've pretty much got free reign to the base. Let's get this crusher down here Let's also start some buildings out here. I've got one more baby dragon So I think that we're gonna safely get that builder hall But are we gonna get there's a lot of buildings for a builder hall six are we gonna be able to get all these down? I think we are I really do I feel confident about this as long as we get that roaster down with this one baby dragon Come on baby dragon. You got this buddy. You got this buddy. It would be so cool to three star this video uh, one of the major reasons why I haven't done Builder Base lately is because every time I recorded I had the worst luck three starring or at least winning attacks but it looks like we're definitely gonna win this one guys with the three star with all baby dragons that deserves some a, a round of applause good job Klaus good job all right let's see let's see we'll watch him three star with me and Ty oh he won and a 62% two star that's what I'm talking about okay so let's uh let's start the boost I probably could have oh nope not upgrade let's go ahead and start this boost it is a level five clock tower so it will last for the entire video if everything goes according to plan. But guys, first three star. And then I guess while we wait this uh, couple of seconds, look at my battle log. There's a victory three star. There's a victory 77. There's a victory three star. I lost uh, that one because they three starred me and I didn't. We we drew. Look at that. We drew 52% one star for each of those. And then a victory. So, I mean, things are going pretty well. And I look like it looks like I'm getting better with this as time goes. I just beat and three starred a Builder Hall 6. That is pretty impressive. So, now. Oh, another. Okay. We don't have this at all. That was so close. We almost had that two star. Uh, well, 59% one star. Maybe that's going to be good enough to win. Come on. Come on. And oh, by 3%. Uh, let's go try it again. GG to whoever that was. So let's try this again. This time, the it's kind of like a... Oh, but they two star with a higher percentage than we did. No! Okay, after a series of losses, I'm going to change up my, my, my plan a little bit, okay? Let's look at the base and determine whether air is the better option, okay? Like, going in blindly with air doesn't seem to work all that well. And look at... Wow, okay, this is Builder Hall 5 with an upgrading firecracker. I mean... It doesn't get much more blatantly obvious that we need to wreck this base with air. However, can we maybe mix the two together, ground and air? I mean, if we brought in maybe some barbarians and created our funnel, we could go directly at that air bomb really, really easily. And I think that might be a good plan, especially if we can tank that multi-mortar. So let's do that. Let's put down the battle machine. Multi-mortar, you busy? Yes, he is. Awesome. Okay, let's get the barbarians in here just like so. We're going to create our funnel. And just like that. Okay, perfect. So let's get a baby dragon on this side and on this side. Let's get another one on this side and on this side. 
this should help out these ba uh, these baby dragons getting here on this air bomb machine. Obviously, like I said, the firecracker is upgrading, so that's going to be a big, big advantage for us with air. And that baby dragon goes down. The other one pops in. Hello. There we go. Perfect. Yes, we got one down. This baby dragon should show up and up out the arch tower. There we go. It goes down nicely. Now we've got two baby dragons left. One more left. We've got to get rid of that firecracker. Oh, and why did you go toward the gem mine? Why would you do this to me? Okay, well, this is going to work out good because look at this. This one baby dragon will wipe out that firecracker and then go directly at the builder hall. Meanwhile, these dragons up here are tanking for us. So well, this is actually working out very, very nicely. Um, and if that one, come on, take out the arch tower. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Yes! Guys, we three start again. That's what I'm talking about. So you can't just blindly go in with an attack strategy. You've got to look at the base and say... Can I three-star with that? No, wait, there's the weakness, and this one in this case was, uh, it, it, it was weak to, to air on one side, and so we were able to use our ground on the other and, and really help tighten the attack up, and that's exactly what happened. So we've got ourselves an army camp and a gold mine, and uh, that's it. So that will be the three-star. Monkey de Luffy is watching us and wondering how in the world do we three-star the, well, baby dragons. Oh, I had a firecracker upgrading. That's what I should have, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad decision. That's what that guy's thinking right now. So here we go guys three star and yes there is the victory guys 59% that's not bad two star all right let's go and um, do it one more time I've got uh, two and a half minutes until my battle machine wakes up and then we'll see if we can maybe pull off a third three star in this video all right guys we've got a builder hall six but this one yes this one as an upgrading roaster that is that's like that's awesome that's really great okay so here's how we're gonna handle this base i'm going to pretty much direct all of my focus on this top right hand side because we want to get in there we want to take out actually you know what let's go directly at this base and i think we can do it primarily with air and the reason for that is because these uh these crushers i mean the crushers are in the mouths of all of the opening like every opening toward the space is is a crusher so we definitely need to avoid the crusher also we get some external air targeting defenses i mean the arch tower out there this arch tower out here so i think this is going to work out great so let's get this battle machine and let's put him right here in oh and I, I i i brought a oh man i brought some barbarians anyway i guess that's gonna be up that's gonna have to be okay we're gonna do some tanking maybe go through some walls start wiping out some defenses i don't know let's just see how this goes baby dragon going down this way and um battle machine's about to get wrecked right now yep yep he's going down ah oh, should have switched out my army that was not the plan at all um that was not the plan, but hey, hey, there we go. Okay, so Barbarian's actually doing a good work, staying away from those crushers and taking out some key defenses. We have easy access toward a builder hall right now. Let's get the uh, baby dragons in here to wipe out this archer tower, and that baby dragon has free access to the builder hall. That's perfect, guys. Let's get one more in on this archer tower, and then let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. We've got, I think we've got a potential three star here, guys. This other baby dragon to take out the last air targeting defense. These two baby dragons are working through crushers and making their way toward this final firecracker, who is, uh, I think, level one. So this is really, really good, guys. And that one, oh, please have some health. Please have some health. Yes, it's a full HP baby dragon. And guys, we have gotten our third three star in a row. Well, except for the, the series of losses where I was just blind, blindly going through and attacking. But once you get past that and start thinking more strategically about the bases, you can three star. And this is absolutely amazing, guys. And notice, the barbarians actually really helped a lot by being able to direct them with they did a little funneling but also they did some directive attacking on some key defenses and that really helped a lot so gg nicely done to the barbarians and the baby dragons we definitely like b b lettered troops in this channel it's great stuff there's a third three star that's what i'm talking about guys and the victory booyah all right and do i have enough loot to do anything that's kind of the big issue now is i don't think i do um, no, I don't have enough loot to do anything. I mean, I upgraded my battle machine last time, spent some gold on some walls. So hopefully next time, guys, we'll be able to maybe upgrade our giants to max. I know giants are really good, or maybe the minions, or unless you guys recommend the bombers or the cannon carts. Let me know in the chat, in the comments, what you guys think about all that. And obviously, we're going to continue trying to max out our defenses on our base. But other than that, guys, that is going to be it for me today. Three, three stars. That was epic. So like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and join the class family if you haven't done so already and as always guys i will see y'all again 
next time. 